Hello everybody. In this video, we are going to learn uh, about uh, Intermania, a REST client, where you can test your REST services. The popular one is Postman. There are alternatives for the Postman too. So Intermania is one of them. Okay, first we'll see how to install. It's based on your, uh, your operating system. If you go to this and website you can download it from here so you can use this one or you can use this command too. so instead of dmg i prefer to install using brew so we are going to install here with this brew okay open a terminal and then install so brew has to be installed previously so we can have that. So it's installing and let that continue. So it's still installing, uh, downloaded few required things and then in some successfully installed. We'll go check in the apps. So yeah, in installed. So Mac has to have some permission. So it has been installed. After installation, now we have to test the uh, REST services uh, with this client, right? Uh, for that, you should have a server where uh, REST endpoints has been exposed. So I have an uh, app uh, which is having some endpoints. So I'm just starting that application. So uh, once you have this application you can send some request okay application is started and you can access that in the port localhost 9119 so you can use demo and demo so username and password is demo demo it gives you this application so orders products customers employees so all these things can be access through uh, endpoints like you can create the products or customers or orders uh, then for that you should know the documentation these documentations will be available in uh, different formats one of the famous one is swagger so this application supports a swagger ui so you have all these uh, endpoints now the first endpoint that we have here is Authentication. So authentication has uh, three endpoints here, session, user, and user. So based on the method type, everybody knows like it has a get, post, put, delete are the famous methods that we have. Let's say the first one is, uh, you can use a slash session and post to uh, create a session. So once, uh, what is the request that you need to send? This is the request data. Uh, with this, you can uh, send a request. Now, what are the information that you have to pass? Like post is the uh, method type, and then slash session is the endpoint, and then uh, content type, request content type is application slash JSON, and then this is the data that we have to send. Okay, all this information you send it to the server, it will give you a token. With that token, you can send the uh, perform the other operations. So the authentication types are uh, bearer token authentication. So that can be done through this. Uh, you can click on new request and then request name, let's say uh, create token and uh, type you have is post. Then body the json type okay now create so the first thing that we have to do is here uh, you have to provide the json body the json body you can get it from here and the authentication we don't need to send any authentication for this request and then the headers what we have is content type is application slash json so because of you provided JSON, it automatically came here. And uh, then you have to send the request now. When you click on send request, okay, the URL we have not given, right? So 
here this is the urn this is the one followed by what is the endpoint we have here slash session so slash session and send the request so now whenever you got the ref, uh, response you have to validate two things one is response code or status code and response body see 200 is the response code and uh, how much time it took for the response come and what is the size of it and now this is a token that you have to remember or uh, you have to save this for further uh, requests okay now what i do here is i i'm going to create one more request now the request name will be um, let's say customers i'll get the customers what are, who are the customers that we have list of customers will come okay now what we have here the endpoint uh, it is get type and the endpoint slash api slash customers and you don't need to give any body but the response will come like this okay we'll see how to send this request so request name is get customers and now type is get and then create so here uh, what we need to do is first we need to provide the authentication these authentications are different types uh, that authentication it supports currently current one is bearer token authentication so the token is this value and body we don't need to give we need to give the uh, url so what is the url we have so this is the url slash api slash customers and now send the request so the here uh, when you send the request okay this authentication has been 401 so it says that authentication is not updated okay so we'll see now what is the issue here what you should understand is if a service is not authenticated you will get 401 so 401 gives you the uh, authentication so if you check it last at the end this extra square happened and now you will send this request see because of the token error we got the 401 and now you got the 200 error sorry 200 status code see how many customers we have we have uh, the customers in 20 customers okay so all the customers are listed down this format we call it as json so json should be understandable like uh, it can be understandable by everybody so json or uh, object contains key values okay key can be a string and the value can be anything here integer string and for items what you see here uh, whatever you have these are all the json objects right for one key you can have three things one it can have a single value whether string or array or it can have a json object okay or it can have a json array if you see the square brackets then this is json array and if you have uh, only instead of one you will have one more uh, floor bracket there then there will be json object okay now these are response headers so based on the response headers you can it will automatically can gives the preview now so these two uh, requests we have seen now we will see the uh, third request okay uh, which may be like uh, a delete request now we have a customers here right i want to delete a customer so what is the endpoint you have slash api slash customers slash uh, customer id okay so customer id we need to provide if we provide the customer id that a customer will be deleted now delete customer and then the uh, type is delete and then create the endpoint as usual 
you have to get it from here and then slash api slash delete slash sorry slash api slash customers and then you have customer id okay so customer id so this is sample server can be sent see how it can be slash customers slash 10 can be sent mm, but you should know what are the customers right uh, here you have two so two is a customer now two and then send see it says that 403 now okay 403 means you do not have the access right to do this okay so if you check uh, did you provide authentication no right so what we have here bearer token so what is the token that you got uh, whenever you this one you got the token that token needs to be passed better token and then this token should be available then do you need to give anything uh, for this here you need to provide any body according to this uh, you don't need to provide any body so all i need to do is send a request so now if i send it what it is saying that operations are uh, uh, status uh, error but you got 200 that means the request sent successfully but internally server has sent some uh, things here what it is sending is uh, it does not uh, able to delete because a few orders are associated to this customer so there is a dependency if, you, if there is no orders with this customer then only it can be deleted so that's fine so what i need to do is i need to create a customer who does not have the orders so that i can easily delete it so for that what we have here there is a, a post request where you can create the customer so how do i do that i'll do this plus create new request uh, create customer and then post bodies type is json and then create so the end point is this one followed by slash api slash customers slash api slash customers and json path is it will give you okay so that is the advantage of using documentation now you will have address let's say hyd and empty chyd company uh, abc country india email uh, abc at the rate gmail.com first name abc last name xyz and these ids you have to give it's not auto generated so 22 and then phone number one two three one two three one two three one postal code by lakh one state TM yeah, yeah. okay now you got this and you need to provide the authentication which is better token which I have to get it from here and then sorry. copy and you need to send it here then headers automatically came slash application slash json and then send this request see uh, we got the error it says that unable to add customer or customer already exists so i think the id is the unique one so 22 you already have let's say 220 now if i send this now what you have success customer added this is the expected message that you have now if you want to delete the customer what do you do 220 then you send it what happened success customer deleted so do you want to see whether the customer is uh, there or not so this is this retrieves all the customers 
okay let me create customer and then see customer is added with uh, 220 and the name is abc and if you use this uh, get customers if you send it all the customer will come okay and if you see here there is one more thing so total items are 101 okay number of uh, items per page is 20 page size is 20 and how many pages you have one of six so uh, so total items 101 right only 20 customers are displaying in this page so i want to increase that if you want to increase that uh, this endpoint gives you certain parameters these parameters we call it as query parameters okay parameter type query parameters if i give size like uh, 200 200 customers will be dis displayed so what you are going to learn here is how to send the query parameters query parameters will be sent along with your uh, request url question mark and then size equals to 200 and then send now you see page one of one and then items page one out one so you can see the customer with uh, 220 okay this is what i created so i can filter the customers too how can i filter the customers if i provide the customer id okay i can simply get that only one customer okay how do i get that customer id so it has to be exactly i is small id equals to 220 now you have only one customer if you want to delete that customer you can send that request customer is deleted and then get customers send so you have zero customers associated with that id now okay so what have you learned here in this session is how to install and then how to send a get request post request delete request and how to send a authorization which is barrel token authentication and then we have seen how to send the json uh, as part of your uh, post request and also we have learned about query parameters okay